welcome back to the channel I am trying out I just got a new phone so I'm trying this phone out uh, hopefully it'll be a little bit clearer picture and sound and everything so um, I am about to put this on one of the banana trees and then this is my stevia plant um, if you've never heard of stevia it is a plant that you can use to sweeten things with um, it is common I think it comes from Central or South America and it is very potent and it uh, no effect on your blood sugar whatsoever there's no sugar and that's what we use we use when we just order ours on Amazon um, but I figured I've seen it um, growing in Florida so I'm like why not try to to grow it yourself ourselves and uh, you know that way if something ever happens and we can't get a hold of stevia anymore we have some so I think what you would do is uh, dry the leaves out and then you can um, just grind them up into a powder and then use them and if you're if you're looking at ever wanting to use stevia like the pure stevia extract not the um, not the um, like mixed stuff you can get in a grocery store it is seriously uh, like if I make a gallon of iced tea then I use a tea uh, teaspoon yeah a teaspoon of stevia powder like the pure stevia extract powder um, that's how potent it is and if you get too much it will be very very bitter um, now stevia is one of those things you kind of have to get used to the pure extract isn't as bitter as the stuff you'd buy in a store but uh, you still kind of have to get used to it it does have a little bit of a bite at first but once you learn to use it properly it's um, that kind of goes away so but I'm gonna come over here and this is what oh, well, that's nice just had a water drip on my phone but um, like I said this is what I've been doing over here you can see all the all those brown banana peels down there for me dumping but I've been soaking banana peels at least overnight in water once it gets nice and cloudy like that then it's ready to go it's full of potassium and this banana tree and my red banana tree that's the only thing I've been doing to them is uh, using this banana water because it's like I said it's full of potassium and um, then I, I dump the banana peel out there with it to let that rot in place and we'll see what happens I'm doing this here and then in my ice cream bananas out in where the other fruit trees are I'm dumping used coffee grounds and seeing how that goes that's a lot of nitrogen look here I don't know if you can see that very well that is a spiny backed orb weaver they're kind of bizarre looking but <clears throat> I think they're pretty cool whoa just about dropped my phone I'm getting used to this phone it's a little bigger than my old one so but now what I want to do is I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna plant that stevia out in the garden or anything because I want to baby it and I want to make sure that it grows and, and does well so I'm going to um, excuse me my sinuses are really bothering me this morning I'm gonna put it in a bigger pot so I just got to get the, uh, I got to get a bigger pot. Maybe eventually once it's gotten nice and big, I might plant it out. <clears throat> but I really, really want to make sure that it, uh, I really want to make sure that it is growing well and, um, I can baby it. I can, you know, make sure that I'm, it's taken care of. So I'm going to put it in this pot for now. 
I think this is a one gallon. And then if it gets too big for that, I'll put it in a three gallon. And who knows, it may be a, a potted plant. Um, so, but I'm just gonna, let me do it. I'm gonna do it out here so I don't get dirt all over my porch. Um, and then I, I recently bought a big bag of potting soil, so, but I keep them in here in these Homer buckets. That way you can close it up and it keeps the moisture in. Because if you leave it in a bag and just le leave it sitting there, even if you, I noticed with mine, even if I kind of folded it under and then stuck it in my garden shed, it still lost a lot of its moisture. And it's going to lose some, like you can see here, it's lost some, but over here you can see that it's still got moisture in it. That helps a lot, putting them in those five gallon buckets. <clears throat> so let me, I'm going to get my little shovel. I guess it's called a trowel. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be extra and I've been putting when I bring out the banana water banana peel water to uh, pour on the banana trees I've been putting a little bit in with the stevia and it helped it a lot to grow into what it is right now because it was really really small and then I was gradually putting that banana peel water in there and all that potassium helped it to to get what size it is now <clears throat> so I'll continue to do that I have to go and, and look again but I I think you know stevia is considered an herb and I'm, I'm not sure if it I won't be surprised I'll say this that if it doesn't like full sun because there are a lot of herbs that don't like full sun they get burned really easily because their leaves are a lot more tender than a, a typical plant. Then there are some that like a lot of sun. But um, I'll stick it in here. I'm not going to put too much in there because I want to. So now I'm just going to. get it out of this I want to keep as much of this dirt that it's in the soil that it's in as possible because that will be where all the roots are see all the roots down there at the bottom I don't want to lose that so I actually need to get rid of some of this let me do this pour some of this back in here and then too busy talking and it wasn't paying attention to what I was doing so now you can see the roots down there you want to keep all that you don't want to pull just grab the stem and pull this off because you will break it from these roots and then it will damage the plant and that goes for pretty much anything that you're transplanting you want to try to keep the the mass of soil that it's in because of all these roots. So I'm gonna put it in here, try to keep everything together. And now I will fill in around it. So hopefully it will be, it will continue to grow here. It was getting too big for that, the container that it was in. So, I just don't want to damage it at all. And if you've ever been in the Central Florida area, let's see, there we go, that's good there. It will correct itself. It will straighten itself back up. Um, there is a big, big garden called Bock Tower Gardens. 
It's in a city called Lake Wales. And um, I've been there several times and it is, it's really, really neat. But they have a section that's like a kitchen garden. They have fruit trees and vegetables and herbs and all that stuff. And they have a big, big stevia plant. And so when I saw that, I'm like, well, we must be able to grow stevia here. I mean, it grows in South America and Central America, so probably similar climate to Florida. There's probably a, you know, subtropical climate. So, but, you know, since we do have some cold weather here, that's another good reason to keep it in a pot. That way I can just move it inside or cover it easily if we do have some cold weather and it needs protection. Um, I gotta figure out what to do with those black sapote trees that I have up there because they're, I mean, they're, they look fine, but I don't want them to get root bound and then start to die. I just don't know where to put them, but I'm gonna get some water. I always have, I always check because down in that spout, a lot of times there'll be a frog sitting in there. How it squeezes itself in there, I don't know, but there, you know, it's not uncommon for there to be a frog sitting down in there, so I always check that. So let me come over here. I'm just gonna get some rainwater out of the rain barrel here. I don't need a ton. I don't want to overwater it. And this does get, these plants up here do actually get some, uh, that's nice, it got dripped on again. They get some water like when it rains because it splashes back. But I'll just water it in a little bit. Let everything kind of settle in. And then if you have if I have any leftover of this, I just dump it back in there. I don't want to waste that. So I just dump it back into the barrel. And that's about it. I really don't have much else to do. I'm gonna go check on a couple things. Um, I'll show you something out here, the, uh, the beauty berry that we have growing out here will be, it's about ready to be picked. And that's when, it, see how it's, when it gets really good and purple like this, that's when it's ready. Now you can eat beauty berry. You can eat them, and it's uh, it's all up in there too. Um, you can eat it, but it doesn't really. I've tried it, and it doesn't really have much of a flavor by itself. It almost is a little bit of a grassy flavor. Excuse me, a little bit of a grassy flavor. Um, I mean, it, it, uh, you, they're they're edible all the way around. You can eat them. I could go out there and pick the whole thing off and eat all those berries it just doesn't really have a flavor but it's good to put in a it's good to put in a um, jam now this is I planted my uh, there's actually a flower on it this is the Everglades tomato but it looks like something is eating it because all those leaves have been stripped that almost looks like the work of a tomato hornworm, but I don't see one. I'm looking all over the plant. I don't see one. It could be anything. It could be leaf rollers. It could be. That's what I get the most of. I don't. I mean, I I, I have gotten tomato hornworms before, but more than anything, I get the leaf roller worms, and they will drive me insane. I'm actually gonna 
Well, yeah, let me take this. I don't want to use my cages on, but just give this something. I mean, I really don't think it needs any support because I want it to kind of just grow wild out here, but I'll give it a little bit of support. This thing is all jacked up though. Sorry about that. <sighs> Dropped my phone. I'm just having a rough go with it with this phone. So, but I need to, I'm going to have to uh, probably tie that up. Because as soon as we have another storm come through, it's going to knock it down. So let me, let me get something and tie that up. Although I may not be able to do this one handed. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do this one handed, and I don't want to make y'all see random stuff in the way. I'm just gonna leave it as it is right now, and then if I have to tie it up later, I'll tie it up later. But I want to check also on my uh, the comfrey still growing. It's kind of slowed down some. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is exactly with that. I have the, the most trouble growing comfrey. I signed up for chip drop. And I still haven't gotten any. Because that's, I mean, there are some wood chips still in there. But it's mostly been, it's mostly decomposed down now. So I, it's, I can't really use it. And look at the vanilla over here. It's still alive. Just kind of sitting there I don't know I really don't know what else to do with it but it looks okay it's still alive so I just leave it there you know I want it to grow up that tree on its own you know grab it and pull itself up I don't want to have to keep training it up and then you know but we'll see what happens anyways that's all I'm gonna do today I really don't have anything else to do very soon very soon I will be starting into the fall garden I'm going to be getting the lasagna bed ready I just got to get a whole bunch of um, I got to get a whole bunch of cardboard but very soon and so then there will be more stuff happening but hang tight because it's still not quite time yet so probably within the next couple of weeks I'll start up I just don't want to, I want to time it right because it's still too hot right now for a lot of things. And if it, if I start now, it's still going to be too hot and it's going to die and I'm going to have to replant anyways. So I'm trying to time it just right and, and yeah. Oh, and one last thing here. Let me see my orange sweet potatoes or maybe some purple ones in here, but the orange ones are doing well. The only sweet potato that survived the rabbit attacks out there in the garden are the purple ones. I have them way back in the corner. And uh, they don't seem to be interested in the purple ones. I don't know if they don't like the flavor or what. But I planted some boniato in here, which is a white sweet potato. And there's a couple coming up there. And I think that that's one coming up right there. So that's exciting. I want to get as many sweet potatoes out here as possible. Anyways, that's all. Uh, hopefully this will look okay since I, um, you know, have fumbled with my phone and all that stuff. And I'm still getting used to the phone. And hopefully the sound and everything will be okay. It will, it will be better than my old phone. So thanks for tuning in. And I will be back again soon. Have a good day.